when it comes to community bathrooms, you have to remember everybody is not raised like you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna Nicole and I want to thank you guys for watching. So today I am going to be talking about surviving community bathrooms. So on my HBCU um, video, somebody requested for me to do a video about community bathrooms. So I got some notes here and I'm going to tell y'all how to survive community bathroom. Quick, if you guys want any more videos about college for my freshman year, let me know, comment down below. And yeah. So the community bath, the style that I stayed in, it was three stalls and then it was three showers and it was three sinks. That's all you had. But it was two bathrooms at the end of the hallway. And, but I can't tell you how many girls stayed on that hallway because it was about 20 rooms. I think it was 20 rooms, but I don't know if every room was filled. And it was two people to the room. Some people had singles. So I don't know how many people stayed on the hall, but that's what it was. So tip number one is you need shower shoes. So the shower shoes I used was some old flip flops that I got from Old Navy years ago when I used to have those flip flop sales. I don't know if they still have them or not, but the shoes were old. I had two pair. I had a green pair and a black pair. There's one of the colors. You don't need no Nike slides, but if you want to do that, you can. I just don't wear my shower shoes anywhere, but going to the bathroom and going to the shower and then, you know, going through the hall back to my room. So that's the only place I wear my shower shoes. Tip number two is you need a caddy. So you can either get the cotton caddy or the plastic caddy. I had the cotton caddy, but my roommate had the plastic caddy. So with the plastic caddy and the uh, showers that we had, they were kind of small, but one it was two small showers and one big shower. The two small showers were kind of small. So everybody that I seen that had a plastic caddy, they always had it outside of the shower. And some people that had cotton caddies, they had it outside the shower too. But I had mine inside the shower unless I didn't need it inside the shower sometimes. But sometimes I put it on a little, the little thing to do the temperature in the shower. I had it on that so I could have it inside my shower. And then sometimes water would get on it, but I really wouldn't care because it was going to dry and my shower stuff was in there anyway. So inside your caddy, you will need your soap, whatever type of soap you want to use, a bottle soap or a bar soap. I always use bottle, but I had some bar soap in case I ran out of bottle, but I never ran out of bottle because I always bought another one before I ran out of the other one. So and the next thing you need is face cleaner. That's if you use face cleaner, you can put that in there. I didn't have mine in there because I always did my face stuff outside the shower when I went back to my room and I was doing probably my makeup and stuff. That's when I had my face stuff. Did my face stuff. Then you can get your towels, your body towel, your face towel. They go in there. You can put your toothbrush and toothpaste up in there. You can put your shower cap up in there or you can put it on before you go to the shower. And I had a robe. I'm actually sitting on it right now. But I had big old robe that I use every time I got the shower. Or you can get one of those Velcro towels. I can put a picture in of what I'm talking about. My roommate had one. I didn't have one. I didn't even know those existed. But you can get one of those. Those are really good. Uh, what else can go in your caddy? Your shampoo and conditioner. I just had conditioner in there sometimes. I also had my Nair and my shaving uh, cream and my razors. That was pretty much all I had in my shower caddy. I didn't have much because you gotta be you gotta be mindful because with the with the cotton one not with the plastic ones because the plastic is hard the cotton one if it's too much stuff in there no if it's like if it's heavy stuff on this side and heavy not heavy stuff on this side then it's gonna be leaning and stuff just even it out it's like a little scale and then you can also have too much stuff in there that you can't get to the bottom so you gotta take, pull some stuff out to get in so you don't want to have too much stuff up in there so a little tip that I do for the toilets. So with community bathrooms, our community bathrooms at the school I go to, UAPB, we have to have our own tissue, 
um, soap, hand soap, and paper towels. If you use paper towels. They had a little blow dry thing, but it was really loud. And you could hear it all on the hall, so nobody really used it. But they ha they started having soap towards like four weeks into school, but I had already bought soap. And sometimes if they ran out of soap, they probably wouldn't refill it to the next week. So just have your own soap. But I used to use these little toilet covers and put it right there. Well, you know, like when you go to the mall, you put a little thing out in case you know you got to take a number two. Or if you want to sit down, like why take a number one? Or why, you know, kids using because kids going to sit down unless you hold them up. Um, You can put one of those down. So I bought like two boxes of those off of Amazon and I put like two down when I, you know, had to go. So that's a little tip that I don't really see people doing. Because I honestly, like, had that when I was packing for my freshman year. I was like, I need this because I don't want to waste tissue. That's another thing. Rack up on tissue. Because, like I said, they do not provide tissue. I can't forget other schools. But at the school I go to, they do not provide tissue. And if you run out of tissue, you will have... This is why you need friends. Because then you can ask your friends, can I please use one of your tissue? So you go to the family dollar the next day and get you some tissue. But I went this way that I went to Sam's or you can go to Costco if you don't have a Sam's because usually Costco is the, you know, you can go to those and get like two things a day. Like, I think it's like 100 in there or 400. I don't know how much was in there, but it was a lot of tissue. And I bought two of those at the beginning of the year and I had to buy tissue for the rest of the year. I still have some left in my uh crates because I ain't unpack. I'm just going to go through what I need and leave when it's time to go. So you just have to remember when it comes to when it comes to community bathrooms, you have to remember everybody is not raised like you. Everybody is not raised like you. So little girls can be nasty and it's like really sad. But luckily on my hall, I didn't have any problems. The most problem that I had may be a little this may be a little TMI, but this community bathroom, y'all, I'm letting you know what it is because you may live it. Just little streaks, so you know, little number twos in the toilet. That may be it, so you just flush the toilet again. I say I about had about three times or maybe four times I've seen somebody not flush the toilet, but I can count on one hand. I know some people that sometimes I can't even use their bathroom because it's so disgusting. So, I just hope y'all get something similar to me because I don't want y'all to have horror stories about community bathrooms. I've never had a problem with the showers. I've never had the problem with the sinks. The only thing that was with the sink was we did have two, we had three sinks, but one of them was like a hair thing that you could wash your hair in. One thing we had somebody dye their hair and then clean up after they still. So it was the dye stuff in there. That was about it. But I know the hallway above us, they hallway flooded. I was on the first floor. Somebody was on the second floor, and I just seen their Snapchats. People that I knew this on the second floor, their floor was flooded. Somebody had broke the sink or something. I don't I still don't know to this day what happened. So they had to wear rain boots on their hallway. But it, luckily, it did not get in that room. So the doors were low enough that the water couldn't see through. I don't really have any horror stories about community bathrooms. It was cool to me. I would not choose to live in that environment again. I'd rather have my own private bathroom. So, yeah. Um, now, I never had problems with the bathroom being overpopulated. The only time I did was like if people was going to parties. You know, people go to parties, they're getting ready at the same time. I just know that so if you are trying to use the bathroom people may be using the bathroom for mirrors and stuff so just get ready early i always say get ready early if you gotta be here at this time get ready two three hours ahead that's a big thing with me i'm always ready on time ready to go i ain't never late ask about me but uh anyway <laughs> So I want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comment, concerns, put it down in the comments below and I will answer them. And yeah, like I said earlier in the video, let me know if you guys want any more videos about my freshman year at HBCU life. 
I can do parties, do's and don'ts, guys, do's and don'ts, academics, academics, do's and don'ts. So yeah, thank you guys. Peace.